back to my channel. If you see my face for the very first time, I'm Juanita Okoye. Um, thanks for the subscribers, even if I don't have a lot of videos. Thank you guys for your support. Yeah, today I will be basically talking about my routine, what you should do to lose weight as a postpartum mom most especially yeah but the thing is even if you're not breastfeeding even if you're not um a postpartum mom who's pregnant at all you can still go through this routine and then it work for you you can even go more strict on your diet yeah but the reason why breastfeeding mothers can't be strict to their diet is because they're breastfeeding yeah you get to point when you're dieting that it affects your lactation so your family the fact that you're trying to diet or the fact that you're trying to lose weight can be difficult and it doesn't mean that you and your family would not eat together it doesn't mean that you start um, preparing your separate meals it doesn't mean that you won't be able to eat what your family members are eating say your husband or you're running children if you live in a family with a lot of people it's most of the time stressful to prepare your meals and at the same time prepare meals for the family or unless if there's somebody else prepare meals for the family and then you know that normally the temptation is always there by the time you're preparing one sumptuous meal for your family you'll be tempted actually You'll be tempted as a temptation setting you'll be tempted to eat the food when you know you're dieting so i'm just going to tell you different kind of foods and what you should eat that you can actually actually still eat with your spouse or with your family another thing you should consider yeah most of the time when people go on a diet or when they say i'm starting a diet some people tend to be discouraged because going on a diet I'm not even talking about the low carb diet right now or the diet I'm doing. Going on the diet can be very expensive. Let me just say difficult, it can be expensive. So, these routines or <clears throat> the recipes I'll be sharing with you guys will be on a low budget, you know, like you don't have to spend too much. Um, it's just like, say, exam keto now. You're doing a keto diet. You know because you don't want to be bored with you know same meals you want to try out different things to buy all the all the things you need are very expensive keto stuffs are expensive but you try to use what you have in your house to get what you want actually yeah that's why I made mention that you can be eating the food that you cook for the rest of the family yeah so you should go on the budget it can also work we're talking about the diet the diet can also work with exercise or with no exercise little or no exercise yeah when i lost um six kg i wasn't doing any exercise right now i am exercising say like two to three times in a week yeah sometimes maybe once it depends on how busy my schedule is so, and if you're the kind of person that you don't really like exercises, yes, you can lose weight. So, you just basically <coughs> follow and be disciplined. You follow the routine, be disciplined, but be patient. You don't rush it. Don't think that you are going to lose weight in one week because you did not add the weight in one week alone. You did add it in one week, so it's definitely take a while but not too long let me just okay for me now i added my weight in just six months crazy just six months imagine if i now stay extra on here no okay so another thing you should take note of I'll, before i um before i um dive into the routine my routine every day say that you should always try to do a meal prep 
like you prepare your meals before time say like on sunday you should have known what you would eat monday tuesday wednesday till the next sunday so that you wouldn't have an issue i'm going to put a sample of a meal a menu or a full time table that um, contains the low carb meals that you can eat you can eat things like you can make things like pepper soup you can have things like um, vegetable soup you know when you're um, eating with the family or even if you're not doing a diet you know okay you can make vegetable soup you can make a goosey it depends on your tribe or what wherever you come or the kind of soup you like so basically what you'll be doing is when your family or whatever is on the food menu is swallow what you can do is you can take a low carb um, swallow like you can your choice of them um, swallow will be different yeah we have eggplant swallow we have cabbage cabbage flour that like you can turn to you can make on the fire like semu bitter like powder yam yeah like amala yeah, i think they call it cabbage amala something like that yeah it's um there is um coconut flour there's i've mentioned eggplant so there, there are different ones you can use another example is if probably you're making a breakfast your breakfast is supposed to be a pancake for instance yeah instead of using the normal flour that is very high in carb yeah high in calories also what you tend to do is you use a flour that is less in in um in carb yeah instead of using normal all-purpose flour or wheat flour you can go for coconut flour you can go for almond flour you get the drift now so um another thing you can do also if you're so you can take only soup you can take the soup filled with a lot of meat fish it's fine but still in the range your carb your lim your carbohydrate range or your calorie range um i said in my other video i talked about a, a, an app i use in calculating my calories the amount of calories i, I don't just do a low carb diet i do calorie deficits yeah so even if i exceed the amount of carbs i'm supposed to take i'll make sure i don't exceed the amount of calories in a day just so that i won't add weight there are some things that you might not even lose weight or whatever you eat will not make you lose weight but at the same time it will make you add weight so the aim here is for you to lose weight and for you to not also add weight you get you know there's a way you keep eating and you're not controlling your eating habits or whatever you eat but you keep adding weight and then you get to a point whereby to burn it it's not here <laughs> there's some people that to burn the fat is so 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 difficult so i give i'll give an example of the things you want to eat if you're eating rice there are slim rice that rice or pastas that are very low in carb if you can afford to buy that you know based on your budget and everything you can eat rice but very little quantity and if you're eating rice for that day you don't eat anything that has carbs or even if you're eating rice very small you calculate it don't think i have a weighing scale i weigh things i weigh my food it's by scoop i scoop by maybe by one scoop i know this is the size of it right now i don't really bother to weigh because i already have an idea of how the quantity of food that makes a gram or like makes a kg you know so that's basically it so you would not make sure okay if you're eating right take a very little portion and then you fill your plate with lots of carb i'm um, sorry with a lot of vegetables my choice of vegetables i go for ugo and i go for ugo that's pumpkin leaf yeah and i go for um cabbage yes that's like my go-to you can use any other thing you can use you can make salad if you're making tea how i do my tea is i i'll, I'll probably make, um do a a video of that i use cocoa yeah natural cocoa and um, milk um coconut milk you can use almond milk if you want but i use coconut milk and then the sweetener not sugar sweetener that um, uh, a low 
captain or um like stevia yeah. stevia yeah, yeah so um like i said you prepare your meals it's very very important so that you won't be tempted you prepare your meals before time so you'll be tempted to eat anything because most times when you're hungry you tend to just eat whatever you see if you're going out if you're going to the office or you're going out try to take your prepared meal because i know what i'm saying it might not have it might not happen to any other person but it depends on how hungry you are at that particular time by the time you're hungry you will not think of the diet you're doing no it's anything you see around you that you will eat so to prevent all that take your food along make sure you know what you're eating in the morning make sure you know what you're eating in the afternoon and night also you plan yourself another thing as a breastfeeding mom try as much as possible because you're not having so much um, calories or you're not having so much carb carbs try as much as possible to eat morning afternoon and night do not skip meals you can also snack you can snack on almond nuts maybe few almond nuts you can take watermelon yeah because watermelon doesn't contain too much sugar but don't take banana please banana is very high in carb don't take um sugary um fruit you think it's fruit but by the time you now comes in a whole lot as you're adding more sugar to your whole system in the morning when you wake up when i wake up around six i wake up before that time yeah but let me just put it at six i wake up before five o'clock sometimes five o'clock so what you just do is you uh, i take warm water in the morning around six o'clock if you follow this religiously i bet you lose weight i take warm water like two glasses of warm water if you can't take warm water you take um, room temperature water but it's advisable to take warm water to enable you move your bowels yeah whenever you go to the toilet yeah before you start the day then when it's now like eight o'clock i take green tea a cup of green tea you can use stevia sweetener you can eat, or any kind of sweetener of your choice yeah you can use that but i take the green tea without um sugar and decaf if you want to take coffee you can take coffee but it has to be decaf remember you are breastfeeding so you do not need to take anything that will be detrimental to your baby most of the things you take passes down to your baby through the breast milk and all so by eight i'm done nine o'clock i'm done with my green tea i have been green stuff i've been drinking the tea yeah so by 10 is when I have my breakfast. I have my breakfast by 10, by 1, even at then, sorry, by 1 is when I take my lunch. Take from 1 to 3, around any time from 1 to 3 o'clock, I take lunch. Then my dinner is usually by 6 to 7 o'clock. 6 to 7 o'clock is the ideal time so that the food is digested by going to bed food. I go to bed really early. And the reason why I go to bed really early is so I won't be tempted to eat. By 9 o'clock, 9.30 max, I've gone to bed most times. So you can say 10 o'clock. That's the latest I can be away because if I'm away, I'm talking based on myself and I feel that's how some people too are. If you're not like that, fine. If you're awake, you'll be tempted to eat. You tend to be hungry. So, but before 10 o'clock, say by 9 o'clock, I take my green to eat it. That's if I feel like taking something or drinking something. Most of the time, I don't take the green tea. I'll just go to bed. But if I'm still awake, I'm late, probably I can't sleep. I'll just take the tea. It helps. And that thing that helps also, if any kind of person that brushes your teeth before bed time, you brush your teeth because when i brush my teeth at night i'll be tempted not as in i'll be tempted to eat because of the taste in my mouth the means to taste i don't like that so if you're like me you can use that also do not forget to meal prep i'm telling you it's very 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 important <laughs> don't mind meal meal prepping is really 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 important so that you 